The Antarctic midge is Antarctica's largest living endemic and terrestrial inhabitant, reaching about 6 millimeters in length at full size. Sure, other animals are bigger, like penguins, but they're considered marine animals. These flies got their scientific name from a boat. Between the years 1897 and 1899, explorers set off to Antarctica on board the Belgica. During this voyage, the Antarctic midge was discovered. And while human activities since that time have introduced other insects to the large continent, the Antarctic midge is the only native insect living in Antarctica. They aren't the only invertebrates found in Antarctica. There are also springtails, ticks, and mites. But these aren't insects. Now, because they live in one of the most remote places in the world, pictures of these midgets are few and far between. And pictures of the Creative Commons license come down to this single image. So we're going to add in images and videos of other midgets to give you all some sort of visual representation. But please know, unless it's literally this image, it's not the Antarctic midge. A midge is a fly, though adult Antarctic midges don't have wings. Adult Antarctic midges live a short life of little more than a week during the Antarctic summer. At this time, they gather together to try and stay warm. Yes, they're literal snuggle bugs. They reproduce, and they also lay eggs. The eggs, which look like dried tomato seeds, hatch about a week later, and the larvae will spend the next two years eating. Food for the Antarctic midge larvae includes bacteria, detritus, and algae. The larvae are worm-like and dark in color, likely to protect against UV light, which is quite harsh in the southernmost continent, and to help them get warm. They have to avoid getting too hot too fast as well, so these insects are constantly in survival mode. They produce heat shock proteins, which are made by cells when exposed to stressful conditions. Most animals don't eat while in survival mode, their bodies kind of shut down, but these midges just keep on living their lives like nothing is different. Antarctic midges can also lose up to 70% of the water in their body through dehydration. The environment is dry in Antarctica, and will extract water from the larvae, getting them to the point that they look like raisins. When exposed to water, however, they'll rehydrate and spring back to life. These arthropods have the smallest genome sequence known in any living insects. A genome sequence is basically the building blocks of an organism's DNA. The Antarctic midge has about 99 million base pairs, while humans have over 3 billion. Because there isn't much competition, Antarctic midges have no known predators or parasites, and they inhabit many habitat types, from moss to rocks to penguin poop to grass. Yes, grass does grow in Antarctica. They tolerate both fresh and salt water, and may be found in brackish water tidal pools as larvae, though other larvae may survive in dry conditions. They can also float on water, which may be a way they've moved between islands. But researchers are also looking into whether or not there are different species of Antarctic midges. For more facts on the Antarctic midge, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Goatism for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.